My original plan had been to go to the cathedral on August the 6th, Feast of the Transfiguration, but I began to see signs around the Royal Mile that caused me to change my mind. I began seeing signs for a church that looked like it had really good music. And of course, that would interest me. And they have Beethoven with hot chocolate. Now, who can beat that combination? They had signs out that said, the Episcopal Church welcomes you. So I felt like I was welcomed. So I started looking around and I saw signs that told me a little bit more. This is clearly a high Anglo-Catholic pair. But I had a hard time finding the church. It seemed to be down one of the long alleys uh, the closes that run off of the Royal Mile, many of them very, very steep. Uh, finally, at the bottom of the close, I found some more information that finally helped me find the church. It was a very unusual location. When you went in, there was beautiful artwork. The Virgin Mary and child as you walked in the front door, you climbed the steps, and there was a beautiful stone crucifixion scene. And on the inside, they had a wonderful combination of traditional and contemporary art and church architecture. Not all of my pictures are as clear as I would like. Sorry about that. And I found out that for some reason, my pictures were stopping recording every 60 seconds. I figured out why later, but for now, you'll just have to live with that. Old St. Paul's is what you would call an Anglo-Catholic parish. It, its roots go back to the Oxford movement of the early 19th century. They have a strong commitment to serving the poor, to social justice, and to beauty in worship, architecture, and their music.
Spirit. I didn't catch the very end of that. Naturally, I had to go up front and take a sneak peek at the organ. That's the most unusual cover for an organ I've ever seen. It looks like a kitchen cabinet, but it does let you see on the inside so you know what the organ has. Well, there's plenty more to show you in Edinburgh, but that will come in some of the upcoming vlogs. And by next Sunday, I will be in Shetland, the furthest north that you can get in the British Isles.